Holy cow. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. In this episode, I'll be fishing with some very interesting little soft plastics. I've never seen anything quite like these, so I'm excited to get out there and show you guys what exactly I'll be fishing with today. Here's the dealio. It is, uh, it's raining and I, for I forgot my tripod. So far this video is going pretty good. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna fish at yet. I'm at the lake. I guess I'll head this way and uh, try to find a fishing spot. Well, I just got out to this, uh, to the dam. It looks like they had a fish kill or something. I'm seeing a bunch of dead fish on the, washed up on the, on the bank. So that, that's not, that's not good. Um, <laughs> Also, it's freezing and it's raining. Aside from that, I'm excited to show you guys what I'll be fishing with today. They are tiny little crabs, which this is freshwater, so there are no saltwater crabs in this lake that I'm aware of. All right, I've got it rigged up. I currently have it about 24 inches below a bobber. I think my jig head is a little bit too big, but I'm gonna start off with this 132nd ounce jig head and see if I can get, get a fish to go for this crab. All right, here we go, first cast. That first spot, it did not work out, so I am going to move and try to find another location to throw this crab around. I'm getting bites, but I have yet to actually hook up on a fish. I think I might downsize the jig head. I don't really have many options, but I've got a really tiny jig head on there now. I've had zero interest in this in this uh, bright red saltwater crab, which is surprising to me, I know. But uh, I'm gonna switch over to a very tiny and really cool looking bait. It's made by the same company that makes this crab. They've also made a couple other baits that I've used in my past videos. I'm gonna put that small bait on and see if I can get one of these to go for it. All right, this rain is starting to pick up. Oh, I got a bite. Here we go, fish on. Yes. See you later, buddy. Oh man, okay. It's uh, it's taken some time. Finally caught that first fish. I actually downsized to that tiny little soft plastic. That little crab was not getting, it was getting bites. I just was not getting hooked up. I think the fish were a little bit too small for the size of that bait. So I downsized to one of the smallest soft plastics that I've ever used. It also is really, really cool looking, ultra realistic. I'm just really impressed with this thing so far. I've caught that one fish, that little crappie, but that's a good sign because I've only been fishing with that bait for a couple minutes. I have a feeling that this thing is going to be a multi-species beast. So that's a crappie. Let's see how many species I can catch today. But I'd also really like to catch a decent sized fish. I think it's possible. Let's see if I can accomplish that goal. Whoa, almost just fell in the water. All right. Anyways. Ooh, fish on. Oh, wow. Dang, this fish took off. Holy cow, looks like a red ear. Nice, so that's two species so far. See you later, buddy. There we go. I'll get away from there. All right. Looks like we've got a bluegill, species number three. See you later, buddy. All right, I'm gonna move spots. I, uh, I'm not getting many bites here. Update, a little update for you guys. I've been fishing for a little over an hour. Started off incredibly slow, but I've currently caught a total of three different species. And it's funny because I've only caught three fish. <laughs> I'm changing up spots. I'm heading to a location that I know there's a ton of different species of fish at, and hopefully I'll be able to catch them there. All right, guys, I've made it to this little rocky point. I've caught yellow bass here, crappie, sunfish. Oh, first cast, guys, I had a bite. All right, this is a good sign. Okay, here we go. It is windy and cold here though. Not excited about that. Holy cow. Dang. Holy smokes, you guys. Biggest fish of the day. This is a really nice red ear. Awesome. See you later, buddy. The first cast, I got a bite. Second cast, I caught that nice red ear. So I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this spot. 
pole. Biggest bluegill of the day. See you later, buddy. It seems like there are a ton of fish hanging off into the deeper water. There we go. Yes, fourth species, yellow bass. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Two hours, freezing rain, wind, but I caught my fourth species, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. I wanna catch something a little bit bigger, so hopefully I'll be able to make that happen today. There we go. That was a risky cast, but it paid off. See you later, buddy. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, biggest fish of the day by far. Holy cow. This guy's a giant. See you later, buddy. That's more along the lines of the size of fish that I was hoping to catch. That was one of the nicest bluegill I've caught out of this lake. He actually pulled drag there for a second, which was crazy, but I would like to catch a bigger fish, so I'm gonna keep at it. That was awesome, though. There we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, I just almost went in. See you later, buddy. <laughs> I'd rather not fall in. Fish on. All right, two casts in a row. See you later, buddy. All right, good news. I caught four species of fish, including that really nice bluegill. Also, the rain stopped. Very good news. Bad news, I can't, I can't feel my fingers. Um, freezing cold, I'm wet. But I have yet to catch that really decent sized fish today. That bluegill was nice, don't get me wrong, but I'd really like to catch something quite a bit larger. So I'm gonna hop in my Jeep, warm up a little bit, and try out a different spot. No, oh, I, uh, I left my lights on. Well, I've got this little jump starter. Let's see if I can get this thing going. All right, please, 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 please start. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, this isn't good. Oh my gosh, all right. Woo! I knew I was gonna do this. <laughs> well, I left my lights on and I, <laughs> um, I killed my battery, so. Luckily, I had my portable jump starter in the Jeep with me, but of course it was pretty low on charge, so I barely got this thing started. I'm a little afraid to let off the gas because I have a feeling it's gonna die again. Right now it's running though, so that's a good thing. Woo, doggy, and we're off. The mission continues. All right, lights are off, check. Ready to go. All right guys, I got to the new spot and I do not fish here too often, so I'm pretty interested to see what I can catch. There we go. First fish at this location, a little bluegill. See you later, buddy. Oh, there we go. Finally caught another crappie. Nice. See you later, buddy. Oh, there's one. This feels like a nice fish. Holy cow, this guy put up a fight. See you later, buddy. The time I have left to fish is quickly running out, but I'm gonna try one more spot and then I have to head out of here.
Oh, there's a fish. Another yellow bass. See you later, buddy. There we go. Looks like a hybrid between a red ear and a bluegill. This doesn't look like it's 100% completely bluegill. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to catch one more fish and then I have to head out of here. Hopefully that one fish will be a nice one. There we go. All right, finally caught another fish. See you later, buddy. I did not complete my goal of catching that big fish, but I did, on the other hand, complete my primary goal, which was to catch a bunch of different species. I think I ended up catching five today, and I had a lot of fun in the process. These tiny little soft plastics I was using, although expensive, I would highly recommend. They just do not break apart. I was fishing with the same one the entire day, and it still looks almost brand new. So I would highly recommend them. If you guys are interested, I'll link them down in the description. But I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. Pull yourself together. Oh! Oh, I just almost went in. See you later, buddy.